Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I wanna to go through and show you my favorite tips and tricks for fixing your makeup at the end of a long day. So for me today, I've been wearing this makeup for 12 hours. I've certainly been through it. I went to work, I've eaten quite a bit. I had a cupcake, I drank a bunch of coffee, so my makeup has been through it today. There's definitely some things that need fixing. So this will be a great video if you have somewhere to go specifically after work or after a few hours of wearing your makeup and you just need to touch it up real quick. Like I said, this makeup has been on for 12 hours and I'm gonna zoom you guys in just so you guys can see where it has uh, really worn and what I need to fix. So now that I have you guys zoomed in, right off the bat, the thing that I notice the most is these small lines. I just get those creases in there and that happens with almost every foundation I wear. I think this foundation I'd say lasts for about three hours before that really starts to happen, three or four, but this is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion. And if this was a wear test, I think it would go pretty well. That's the only thing I'm really noticing. I do have some wear and tear on the nose here and then a little bit across the upper lip. So to fix that, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna use my Real Technique sponge. And I'm just gonna slightly damp that. It's already dampened. And I'm just gonna dab that into that area just to smooth it out. And I like to keep one of these handy in my purse and you can dampen it whenever you like. Keep it in there with a little paper towel. And same thing on the nose where I have a little bit of wear. You can also take a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and use that to help to repair as well. And you just wanna be really, really gentle. You don't wanna disturb the foundation underneath too, too much. And normally I would have more patchiness on my forehead, but right now my forehead's looking pretty good and I don't really want to disturb it. If you are more of an oily skin type, this is where you would really want to go in with some blotting paper. I don't really have that issue. For me, it's more about making sure my skin is properly exfoliated before I put on foundation. So no matter what you do to kind of repair your makeup at the end of the day, having that great base is really important. Obviously, primers are a big thing. Uh, a lot of people use primers. I do like to use them on my nose, especially for my pores. But for me, it's really about making sure I exfoliate before I put on my foundation and then also going in with some oil, just a tiny bit. I quite like this one from Becca. It's the Elixir. Um, and I just put a drop of that on my forehead and on my cheeks, those areas where I do tend to get dry because that helps to give me a nice base before I do go in with foundation. And then under the eyes, I'm not really creasing too much, but if I was, I would be doing the same thing and just lightly patting. And if I had eyeliner that ran or anything else, I would be using this edge and going through and just stamping and cleaning up those areas. This eyeshadow also held up all day. It's the Gingerbread Spice Eyeshadow Palette from Too Faced. This one, if you haven't already, go ahead and enter my contest, it's below. I have to say this shadow wore beautifully. There has been no fading, no flaking, nothing else. What I'm gonna do next for the face, just in those areas where I have a little bit of patchiness and I have a little bit of my pores showing through, I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass Dim Light. I'm just picking a little bit of that up on sponge and kind of just stamping it in. Next, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna touch up just my blush and my highlight. The blush actually held up pretty well and I actually don't think I need to do that, but this is one from Hourglass, I'm gonna list it below. But my highlight did fade, so I'm gonna go ahead and reapply that back on. Next, I'm gonna go in with something from Pixi and this is the Glow Mist. I'm gonna shake it up. And it says you can use this to set or refresh your makeup. We're gonna give that a little bit of time to dry, but just before it does completely, I'll go back through and use this again on any areas that still there seems to be a little bit of cracking. For my lips, they are not looking really great. This lipstick has faded quite a bit, and I feel like you can, you can tell this is the kind of liquid lipstick that I think I can confidently go back over and it's gonna be okay. It's not gonna 
wear funky or anything like that. It doesn't feel sticky. It's not coming off. It's not peeling off. It's not patchy. This is the Lawless Liquid Lipstick and it's in the shade George. So I'm going to reapply it. If your liquid lipstick did just smear on the outer corners, you could go in with a pencil brush. I'm not going to do that today just because most of the lipstick is faded. I had that little bit of a coffee ring. Now, if this was looking really patchy or anything like that, you could go in with a lip scrub. I'm just gonna cover it all up. While that's drying down, I'm just reapplying some liner. And I did not use any kind of liquid liner today. If I did and it started to get smeary or anything like that, I would again use my real techniques to clean it up. Even just putting a tiny dot of concealer down and smoothing it out. You don't want anything that's going to mix with your powder that you put down beforehand. You don't want it to get funky or anything like that. But just a tiny, tiny dab smoothing it out. You can certainly do that. This again has that really great edge to go ahead and clean it up. I'm happy where the lips are now. I think they look much better than they did before. But if I wanted to add a little bit of something, you could also add a lip gloss. And I forgot to mention too that Hourglass Dim Light also works beautifully under the eyes, especially after you've set them already. So you can even do that a couple hours later when you are fixing your makeup. It will help to diminish it if there is any kind of cracking or creasing going on with your concealer. Just going in with a little bit of a damp beauty blender and then going back over with that dim infusion, it does work beautifully for that as well. As for lashes, there's a couple different options. You can choose to recurl them very carefully. These are pretty good. I'm not having any too much drooping, but I will go ahead and I will recurl. You can see I just got an instant lift there. Your second option would be to add false lashes. And there you guys have it. That's my quick tips and tricks for how to fix your makeup at the end of a long day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Enter my contest, like this video, give me a comment. If there's any makeup product that you think helps you at the end of the day fix up your makeup or any tips and tricks, please go ahead and let me know below. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you soon.